This principle, as you guys know, because you're talking about it, is called what? The belief loan phenomenon. It's such an amazing name. Okay, belief loan phenomenon. So your beliefs influence your what? Behaviors, which is the same as actions, yeah, which influences your success, which again is going to influence your beliefs, right? So let's take a lovely belief like, can I use your example? Okay. I think it was, I'm not good enough, right? Has anyone ever thought to themselves, I'm not good enough at something or no? Okay. Some of you have not. I'm, whoops, I'm not, can't write good enough. One of my limiting beliefs is that I'm stupid. And I had all these references, right? We have these references from our past where we're like, this is true. We believe this is true because we, we, have, we have proof, right? And so for me, I believed it was true because um, in fifth grade, I, have an I had an opportunity to be in the gifted program. And I was like, oh, my friend was in the gifted program. I mean, I didn't really have the opportunity. I heard my friend was in it, so I wanted to be in it. And I'm like, maybe I'm gifted. Um, and so then I went to try out for the gifted program and I had to like, you know, basically pass these tests. And it was like a, a, a test where I was sitting there, you know, in, in this chair. And then there were three people on these stools watching me and asking me questions. And I was like, I felt like I was being interrogated about my smartness. And they said, ask me questions, this and that. And some I answered, I think fine. And some I, I didn't. And then one question came up where they said, what's a tripod? I'm in fifth grade. But I did not know what a tripod was and I didn't answer that. And then there was another question that I should have known that um, I didn't. And I went home to my mom and I said, she said, oh, how did it go? How did the test go? And I said, oh, I don't know how well I did. Because I felt so stupid because I knew I should have known that. And she's like, oh, well, why? What happened? And I'm like, well, they asked me a question and I didn't know. And they said, what was the question? And I, she, I said, oh, what was, what's a tripod? And she goes, you don't know what a tripod is? Come on, Robin, tripod three, come on. And I was like, Thanks, Mom. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. And my mom, who's a very, very supportive mom, like she just, she just, uh, you know, come on. Like it seems so obvious, but she had the same issues. Guess what? We take these beliefs on from our parents. Like, oh, they think she thinks she's stupid, and she, I mean, she said things so, so often in her life that she's stupid, and she's not, you know, well, maybe she's kind of street smart, but she's, you know, she, or she's not street smart, but she's, um, she would, you know, sometimes get good grades because she would try, and so that's exactly what I took on. And even to this day, when my husband and I. Or, you know, having like, like I'm basically going back into this pattern because yes, it still happens even for me. Like I go into this pattern and think, gosh, I'm so stupid. And like he, he can feel that coming up or I'm saying something like in regards to being stupid and, and he goes, <laughs> and I'm like, kill you. But it, but it gets me out of my pattern because I'm like, I know it's just a pattern and it's not really true. And then I can find reasons how it's not true. And that's what we did at Tony Robbins. So it was like, okay, you believe I'm so stupid. And I'm like, that's my limiting belief. And then what Tony says, and let me tell you the antidote to this. So you basically, what you do in order to get rid of these limiting beliefs, does that make sense? Did I do it is right? Okay. Is that you, you take your finger and you go one, two, three, and you put it up your nose. And then you say in a Mickey Mouse voice, the exact limiting belief that you have. And you say, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. You go around the circle. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. And then you pound your chest and you say, that's bullshit. The truth is. And then you tell the truth and you give all these references as to why you're not stupid. Anyone want to touch this now? <laughs> and you're like, no, the truth is I'm smart. In fact, you know, I got my CFP. In fact, I'm smart because I'm a financial advisor and I've been helping people. Or I'm smart because, you know, I got straight A's in school. Of course I'm smart. The truth is I'm smart. There's no way that I'm stupid. I'm totally smart. So yeah. And then he goes, so right on. You're going crazy and you're like, yes, I've conquered the world. I no longer have limiting beliefs. Thank you. And then you leave and it's Monday morning and you're back at work and you get on your computer and you're like, oh my God, the Tony Robbins was awesome. I'm going to get some work done. Here we go. Let's... What am I going to do? I don't know what to do. I'm so stupid. And it's right back where it started. Like, damn it, I thought I stuck my finger. I did what he said. I stuck my finger up my nose. I did everything. I had a Mickey Mouse voice and everything. I jumped up and down, and for some reason, I still feel stupid. So, as much as I believe in personal growth, and I think it's awesome, and there's no way my life would be like, I, like the way it is where I am today. I would never be. I wouldn't be with my husband. I wouldn't have things I have today if it wasn't for Tony Robbins and personal growth. But at the same time, 
It wasn't the shortcut. It didn't get me the results, especially financial results fast. It was like, okay, I had new beliefs. I can change my life. Like that was a good belief to have. It was an empowering belief, but I still got stuck because I didn't know what to what do. I didn't know what to do. So the coolest thing is, is like, you're all going to have limiting beliefs. Okay. You're going to have limiting beliefs. And what I did is that I got back to my computer, back to Monday morning, whatever. And I said, I'm stupid. And the problem was now I had all this like new, amazing information that I learned from personal growth where I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I, I know I should not think I'm so stupid. That's a disempowering belief or that's a limiting belief. And then what would I do? I'd beat myself up. God, stop, stop thinking you're stupid. Just go to work, get on the calls. You're supposed to get on the calls, make those calls. I don't know what to say. Oh, you're so stupid. Stop doing that. You're not supposed to do that. Stop beating yourself. I'm not supposed to do that. God, I'm so stupid. Ah! Like this whole freaking just keep going, a circular motion, you know? And I would just get mad at myself and more mad at myself and more mad at myself. And I'm like, oh my God. Like I know this whole personal growth is awesome, but damn, I'm pissed at myself. And then I had to finally like, okay, get like, my emotions. I'm okay. Let me send it out here. And like, you know, I would work on it, work on it, work on myself and I'd get better and better. But like, gosh, what really helped me turn this around is that finally I had a, a mentor, you know, if you've heard about Jeff and he believed in me. And some of you said this coming in the room and Stace, you told me the state said that she said, no matter what I do, I believe Robin and I'm going to do whatever Robin says. So I'm going to get the result. I'm like, yes, that is what I want. That's awesome. That's awesome. Because that belief will take you where you want to be. Even if I'm wrong, if for some reason I'm wrong, I don't care. You will be better off to, to uh, or better off where you will end up getting to than where you were before because of that belief. Cause that's a strong belief. Even just to have one person to know I'm going to follow this and do something consistent will get you there. Right? So for me, Jeff believed in me and I believe in all of you and Jeff believed in his systems cause they worked. And I saw that they worked for other people who maybe as much as I thought it was stupid, I also knew I had the potential and I knew I actually wasn't stupid. Like I knew there were things like I could do. I never thought I was, you know, smart in the sense of being book smart and getting like SAT, like I was horrible at that type of testing and those things. But I knew I was a smart person. Like I understood people. I understood how to like, you know, talk to people, communicate, be social, like that sort of thing. And I, I knew I could get what I wanted. I was also a go-getter, right? And so when I saw that he had systems that worked for other people that maybe weren't as much of a go-getter or maybe weren't as social or maybe weren't as whatever, I'm like, I can do this. So I borrowed his belief. I borrowed his belief in me. I borrowed his belief in the systems, and I saw proof that these systems worked because then people got success and then they started to shift their beliefs. Now, I did not necessarily just start to believe I'm not stupid, nor did I start to believe that like I can do all this. But what I did believe is that I knew that I could just like bypass that. And Jeff used to say to me, cause I used to say my pattern at the time when I met Jeff was I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And he was like, finally, he was just like, Robin, just be stuck, but go follow this system anyway. And it was the sales system or follow this system to attract leads. And it was, you know, the audio logo. I actually totally learned that from Jeff um, or follow this system. And then I just said, screw it. I'm stuck. Who cares? Borrowed his belief, took the action. And then I got a client. 